Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please, follow me. Father, something for the pain. I beg you. The light, it fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should.
Been doing healthy trade with the folk from the monastery of late. Funny how Grieger's servants. How do? There you go. Much obliged. Work building the aqueduct. Back when we had proper leaders, proper trades, not just selling our blades and our bodies. Pressing on. Just let me get this down, mate. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So, now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. But never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength? What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. And know that you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay.
Sid. Ah, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. <sighs> I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? It's not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now... One of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his old life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? 
Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right? You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. I'd better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. Bearers are hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. You barely have to step out of your front door. That's one of our branded. You can't have got far. I better keep my eyes peeled. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind! Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. 
Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. <laughs> I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bearer without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Only to be betrayed by a friend. If I'm leaving this to a bearer, I'll go myself. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse, torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean... I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. Only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really...? He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. <laughs> 